All right, just checking in with everybody here. Listen, I want to get into um, talking about email marketing in your email list today because that's our focus for the next couple of weeks. So the big question is this, how is a tiny percentage of entrepreneurs blow the pack away? What are they doing that we're not? I asked myself that question for 10 years. I was failing forward and getting sick of it. I wanted to build a coaching business but couldn't make any headway. So I started studying. I realized that the world's most elite marketers, entrepreneurs and gurus were all using the same four step system. I call it the authority factor. On the show, I'm going to prove to you that the authority factor worked for them and it'll work for you. My name is Ken Dunn. Let's get started. We're going to be talking this afternoon more about um, creating content and creating engagement, all kinds of cool stuff happening there. But it's um, it's not just content and engagement. So this is where I'm going to ramp up the pressure on you a little bit, obviously, because you got to get in the habit of creating content. And just like I'm doing right now, right? I'm creating content right now. Parts of this video I will use later. I'll chop it up and I'll do different things with it. So I'm constantly creating content. Um, and that's a big part of what we're going to be talking about probably all year. But our focus right now is creating content and building the email list. And I'm going to show you some different strategies I've used over the years. And I want to talk about why it's so freaking important this morning. There's basically three major, major reasons that you have to build a big email list as fast as humanly possible. Um, there's an old saying in digital marketing, your income grows with your list. And that's reason number one. There are a hundred different ways to drive traffic in the world today, but there's really only one that is free or next to free. And that's your email list. So if you think about all the other ways that you can drive traffic, it has to do with some type of time or financial commitment. So paid advertising, social media, paid advertising, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, etc. You got to pay for it. Plus, you got to learn the skills, which you're going to pay for. Um, you can do print media and old school advertising, television. You got to pay for it. You're either going to pay somebody to help you get on it or you're going to pay for the time, the spot, your own website, or doing third-party traffic through third-party sources, like writing articles on a platform like Entrepreneur. You got to pay for it. An email list, you're going to pay to build it, but it's yours to keep. And that's probably the first reason it, do it. Like, friends, the, the fact of the matter is, um, what email can do for you has changed dramatically over the years. When I first started marketing 20 years ago, uh, we used email. We've been using email for 20 years. And when we first started marketing, we were getting 50% open rates and 20 to 30% click-through rates. To be honest with you, when we started 20 years ago, we didn't even call them open rates and click-through rates. And as you guys know, email marketing has radically changed. Now, a great email will get a 20% open rate and about a 10 to 12% click-through rate. Average emails, which I send all the time, will only get about a 3 to 5% click-through rate, meaning what click-through rate means, open you can understand, right? They see the email in their list, they open it. Click-through rate means they read it, they, they take the call to action, the CTA, they take the CTA and they click through and they go check out your offer. And then conversions are crazier than that, but... The fact of the matter is, once you build your email list, it's yours to keep. And if you do the right job with nurturing your email list, it'll change everything for you. I'll give you an example. My email list is a million people right now. About 500,000 are active, meaning they've opened an email in the last 90 days. I just built a new funnel last week, which I think I showed some of you guys, because I want to really scale up basically the agency side of my business. I've got a great team in place now. Any coach who needs any help with building funnels, driving traffic, promoting their offers, building an online course, any of that stuff, my company can provide that support. And I want to scale that part of my business. Well, that's the high ticket side of my business too. We have a program called the Accelerator Program, which some of you guys might want to jump into. 
it's $50,000, but I work one-on-one -on -one with you for six months. My entire team builds your funnels. I teach you how to sell on webinars. I help you design your slides and I stick with you every week until you're making thousands of dollars a week from your webinar. It's the fast track, right? It's the accelerator. Well, I sent out an email to my list, two emails to my list. And I basically created a 30, 28 minute case study, a video where I profiled six of my clients that have gone through this program and are all building seven figure coaching businesses now and talked about what they did, how they did it, what we did for them, showed them real examples, showed them my bank account, showed them their ClickFunnels accounts. I mean, everything. And at the end, I said, I've got five spots open and I'd love for you to be one of them. If you're interested, click the button below and book an appointment. Well, those appointments, I tell them right up front, it costs 50 grand. Those appointments are going right to a call center with salespeople in place. And since I've sent those two emails out, there's been 37 appointments booked. Now, if just one person books an appointment, two free emails made me $50,000. But let's do the law of averages. If there's 20 appointments booked or 30 appointments booked, let's say three people do. That means two emails would make me $150,000. Now that that's the big world example. I've been building this list for 20 years. I've been really seriously focused on adding value to these people and giving away lots of free stuff, building trust. But even on a smaller scale, let's say you build a e-commerce product, like a, a $10 or $20 product, and you've got an email list of 10,000 people and you send, you do all your nurturing. Let's just assume you're up to a 20% open rate and a 10% click-through rate. That means that you've got a really warm audience that it's, they're into you. Write those stats down if you're listening to this because that's really important. Well, let's say you get an email list to that point really quickly. It's not hard. Build a YouTube channel. Put lots of really engaging videos on your YouTube channel like this one, which is going to be repurposed onto YouTube. This video is going to be repurposed onto YouTube, onto my public Facebook page, onto my Instagram page, onto my LinkedIn page, onto my blog. And I'm going to put the link to that funnel. If any of you guys want to check out how I can help you blow up your coaching business and take your right to seven figures one-on-one, -on -one, click on that link below that I'll put in the notes later. You get the point, right? So I can repurpose all this stuff and it becomes the content. And so I put it on a YouTube channel. I'm going to put this video on a YouTube channel later today. Some of you guys are watching on YouTube and you're like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, Ken. This is on YouTube. But you get the point, right? And then I'm going to send an email out to my list for free. And I'm going to say three reasons you need a big email list. And they're going to come watch it. Then they're going to see that video. So that email got them to the YouTube video. You get the point. Then some of them are going to book the appointment because they want me to help. So number one, you own it and it's free. It's free. <laughs> Actually, number one is it's free. Number two, you own it. You own the email list. Why is that, why is that important that you own it? Well, um, let's talk about the thorn in my sign, side, the vein of my existence, Facebook and Instagram advertising. I've been advertising on Facebook for 10 years. I've given Facebook over $3 million in ad spend and I still get shut down all the time. And there is nothing I can do with about it because I don't own it. But if I use all of my resources to build a million person email list and I honor those people, I own the list. It's my property. And there's so many things I can do with it. One of them I just talked to you all about, right? I can send offers out. Um, I can send other people's offers out. In a couple weeks from now, I'm going to do a partnership with Ty Cohen. Ty Cohen is the top expert in the world on Kindle and Amazon selling. And Ty are, and I are partnering together with a new program where I'm going to show them how to write and launch the book. Ty is going to show them how to sell the book. Well, we're doing a webinar together next week. Ty's going to sell his program. I'm getting 50% of what he sells. And I'm going to send it out to my list. So I can monetize my list 
a whole bunch of different ways because I own it. Because I own it, the other thing I can do with my list is I can download it and I can load it into Facebook or I can load it into YouTube or I can load it in Instagram or LinkedIn. They all allow you to build audiences from your customer list, your client list. And that's that's part of the deal. So what I'm going to do with my list and what I do regularly is I download it. I load it into Facebook's ads manager to the audience builder. And I load up all the emails and I say, Facebook, I want you to go find all of these people on Facebook and build an audience for me. And then like that list is, I, I use the active people. So it's half a million people, but I want an audience, an ideal audience for, you know, running ads to a webinar or an online offer is like three to 4 million works really well for me. So what I'll do then is I'll create a lookalike audience. Did you guys know that Facebook will actually, if you upload a list, Facebook will actually go out and identify all these people. And then if you tell Facebook, I want to build an audience of 4 million people that are exactly like these people with the same buying habits and everything, Facebook will do that. So I create lookalike audiences from my list. And friends, that's where I make most of my money in Facebook ads. It's those audiences that all came from my list. And the reason I can do it, it's because I own it. It's because I own it. And also because I own it, I can segment it. What that means is when I'm using my funnels and, and my websites, and, and I don't, I don't, I'm not married to what funnel builder you use. I like click funnels. It's it's my favorite. Um, I know Russell personally. I've been working with him and around Russell for years. He taught me digital marketing. Um, if you want a ClickFunnels account, I'll give you a free two-week trial of it. Um, and there's lots of great video training on YouTube if you want to check it out. I'll put a link in the chat below. But the what what I love about if you're going to build an email list, use a very proactive autoresponder platform. An autoresponder platform is the companies that let you build the list and gives you the tools. Some of the best ones that are out there today are Keep, K-E-A-P, used to be called Infusionsoft, Entreport. I use Actionetics. Well, they call it follow-up funnels now. It's, it's the native platform inside of ClickFunnels. And what I love about it, it allows for segmentation. And you can only do segmentation if you own the list. What segmentation means? It means when they join my list, they're categorized a certain way. If they buy anything from me ever, they're categorized a different way. So now I have a list, an email list of people who have bought a product from me, anything at all. Because the law of averages says that if somebody buys something from you one time, they're going to buy it from you again. So now I've been building this list of people who have bought something from me, this segmented sub list. And right now there's 50,000 people on it. Guess what I can do with that list? Those 50,000 people, the open rate on that list, listen to that. Remember what I told you guys before. If you've been watching this for a few minutes, type in the chat. What is the, if to, to be a good email list, a good responsive email list today, I said it earlier. What's the good open rate? Somebody type it in the chat. Let me know. What's the good open rate? Come on, I'm hanging on you here. Somebody type it. A good open rate is 20%. From my buyer's sub list, when I send them an email, the open rate is almost 70%. So 50,000 people are really into me. So when I'm doing my partnership program with Ty Cohen, I'm going to send very specific emails, separate emails than the big list, to that sub list of buyers and I'm gonna call them out. I'm gonna say, hey, listen, you really trust me. You bought products and services from me before. You know I would not recommend anything to you unless you know I believed in it because I know how much you trust me, so come to this webinar. Well, whenever I send a list, anything at all to the buyers list, I get more people that respond. 70% open rates, 20 to 30% click-through rates, why? Because they're they're already drinking the Kool-Aid. And, and it's not even that. But guess what else I can do with that sub list of buyers? Right. I can load it and create a lookalike audience. And I'm telling you, friends, 
that is the money. That, that gives me the lowest conversion rates when I'm running ads to webinars. It makes me the most money when I'm um, running ads to product pages where I'm selling things. All of that stuff. It is, it is, it's, I mean, it knocks the lights out. So it allows you to create segmented lists. Why? Because you own it. Because you own it. Friends, you don't have a business unless you have a list. And, and never, ever forget that. In fact, if, if, if you appreciated the value and if this talk we've had today has convinced you, you're going to build a list. Um, there's a course that I have. It's called the Tripwire Builder Course. I do, used to do a webinar called um, List Builder Hacks. I might go back and do that again. But I've sold the Tripwire Builder course for $1,500. I now sell it right now for $97. Bucks. And I'm going to put that link in the notes for the show as well because you need to do it. In the Tripwire Builder course, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a lead magnet that's guaranteed to blow up your list because it focuses on the problem first. Instead of what you think you want to do, it focuses on the problem first. And then on the second page... A tripwire, think about that term. This, this term came right back from the Second World War, right? A tripwire is a, is a little thin wire that you almost can't see. It's like fish line size wire that soldiers would like put between two trees and it would be tied to a grenade or some type of explosive device. And somebody walking through an area wouldn't see it. They'd trip it and it, it would explode. Why? Because they didn't expect it. So what a tripwire is in digital marketing is like a two-step funnel. So the first page, you give something away for free. The second page, there's a CTA, a call to action that's related to the free thing, basically makes the free thing easier. Some really great examples, ones that I love, um, your email list can help you to build a freaking massive Facebook group. Why should every entrepreneur and business owner in the world have a Facebook group, a free group that anybody can join? Because it is the only place on the Facebook platform where Facebook will show most of the people your content. So you've got to have a Facebook group. Well, here's a great way to use a tripwire. You create a free giveaway, something that solves a problem for your ideal client. You can run ads to it. You'll get people to opt in. Good opt-in rates on a lead magnet or if you're doing really well, the numbers you want to look for are somewhere between 6 and 20 cents. So you're building your list for six to 10 cents. It'll get even better when you start really dialing in the ads. But just as that is a number, on the next page, you can offer them to join your Facebook group. So you get away, you give away the guide on the first page. On the second page, you got a little video that says, hey, it's Ken, and I'm really excited that you downloaded this guide, 100,000 fans in 100 days. Listen, I really want to help you with this. So I've created this amazing Facebook group. There's thousands of people in it. And it's all people that are doing that thing. So if you're a weight loss coach, do a guide that is um, how to lose seven pounds in seven days. And on the second page, put a video that says, um, hey, glad you downloaded that guide. But listen, um, following the guide and actually having success losing weight are two drastically different states of being. So I created a Facebook group that we have thousands of people in it that I'm helping to lose weight for free. And it's a great ecosystem. You get to be a part of it. You get to meet a lot of people and it's waiting for you. Click the button on this page. Give them free access to your Facebook group. Boom, Facebook group, group is growing. That's why I have half a dozen Facebook groups with tens of thousands of people in them. And friends, just like the email list itself, if I'm promoting an offer, I can put posts in my Facebook group and those people know me. They like me. They trust me because I've built that trust with them in the group. They buy. They buy. So that's a tripwire. It's where there's an added value on the second page. Another great example of what you can do with a tripwire is on the second page, you can build a mini course. So you can remember I was talking to you about segmented lists earlier, opt-ins and purchasers. Well, you can do that all in one little funnel. So build a mini course that helps them to lose seven pounds. Build a mini course that helps them to build their Facebook page. Build a mini course that helps them to have relation, better relationships, whatever it is. But just make sure it solves a real problem. 
Then on the second page, there's a video that says, hey, thanks for downloading my seven pounds in seven days guide. Listen, I really want to help you lose weight. And I realize the guide is linear. It doesn't take you by the hand and keep you on track. So I asked myself, what else could I do to make this journey easier for you? And I created a mini course. So there's seven steps in the guide. Well, inside of this course, there are seven modules. And I walk you through everything that's in the guide. I help you to understand healthy eating habits. And I help you to understand how eating the food you love can still help you to lose weight. I do it all for you. And it's not just that. But if you buy the seven pounds in seven days course right now, I'm also going to give you access to the Facebook group. And in the Facebook group, blah, 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 you get the point. And then you say, listen, it's a tripwire, right? So it's got to be full of surprises. Now, as you hear this, you're probably thinking that this is going to cost hundreds of dollars. And, and friends, to be honest with you, I've sold courses on losing weight for hundreds of dollars, but I want to eliminate money as a barrier for you because I want to help you. So right here, right now, I'm only going to sell you this course for $7, less than the price of a Starbucks coffee. Press the button. That's a tripwire, friends. So I have a tripwire that is exactly like I said to you, but it teaches people how to build a Facebook fan page to 100,000 of their best ideal screaming, yelling clients in less than 100 days. And it's a 20-page guide. I'll put the link in the show notes so you can check it out. And on the next page, there is an offer. I say, listen, the Facebook ads manager is glitchy. It's hard to use. I know the guide won't really help you. So I built a mini course. Just follow what it does and you'll get the success. Friends, I have had 500,000 people download that guide and 45,000 people have paid seven bucks. And so many good things comes out of that. First of all, you get your segmented buyers list, but I call it a gateway product because it's so low that people don't think twice about spending seven bucks, but now they get into my ecosystem. They're on my buyers list. They're on my main list. I start communicating with them more. I show them videos. I show them stuff like this. So they start to really believe that I know what I'm talking about. And I'm worth investing money in. And now today, those people that start with $7, we've been tracking this for three years. They go on to spend between three and $5,000 in my business. So in the, call, in the notes, click on that button that says um, Tripwire Builder and, and the course, and it'll take you to a long-form sales page where there's a video that explains everything you get. Uh, I'm not going to sell that for 97 bucks for much longer. Um, because I'm going to rebuild the entire course and go back to selling it for 1500 bucks. So if you haven't got it yet, definitely take the time to, to get that, to get in there and get that course 97 bucks. So friends, there, there's three, four, maybe five reasons. I know I said three, but I think I'm up to five. There's five reasons why you need to build a massive email list. And, and... <laughs> It's just nuts. Now, let me give you a quick little hack. If, if you get this, but your concern is, how do I write all these emails? Inside of the Tripwire Builder course, there's, there's training on copywriting. So it shows you the headlines to use to get to open the emails. There's all kinds of resources. But how would you like to know exactly how I've learned email marketing, copywriting? I stole all – no, I better not say that because – if I say that, somebody's going to cut that piece out of the video and say I stole something. I didn't. I hacked all of the greatest email marketers in the world. So here's a little hack you can do. If you want to get really good at copywriting and you want to follow the best copywriters and learn from them, um, here's what I did. I created a Gmail account that I called Ken's email at gmail.com. And I used that email and I intentionally went out and opted in to everybody's stuff. Brendan Bruchard, Grant Cardone, Russell Brunson, Ryan Dice, Frank Kern, uh, Peng Jun. It just goes on and on and on. I'm on about 50 different people's lists. Why am I on so many lists? Because of Gmail. What Gmail allows me to do is receive all those emails every day 
and then I can create folders and automation. So now, every time I get an email from one of these people, there's a folder set up with their name on it, and those emails all go into the individual folders. So when I'm looking for inspiration, I just go to Russell Brunson's folder and I see hundreds of emails. I've got over 6,000 emails in Peng June's folder. I've got 3,000 emails in Grant Cardone's folders. I study the emails. And I've read so many of the emails. They're all sitting right there. It's all organized, so I don't have to go looking. That's, that's a gift that I've just given you, friends, that you can do right now. Whenever you sign up, whenever you see somebody offering a tripwire, a big dog, download it. Because you're going to learn so much from their email marketing. Just hack it. You can build this massive database of all the best emails that are out there. And it's unbelievable. They, they work. It's, it's great. Um, anyway, so there's the, all the reasons in the world that you need to build an email list. And there's a resource I'm giving you so you can learn how to build tripwires. 97 bucks. You'll never see a price like that again. And I just gave you a personal hack that I use to study the best email marketers in the world. Now, if you're really excited about this, leave me a big badass five-star review on the podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the notifications for when the next video comes. If you're watching this in one of my Facebook groups, then, then leave a comment for me. Give me some feedback on this stuff. Share the love, and we'll see you later.